Jason Casey, and welcome to Demo. Each episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make restaurant quality food right in your own home. Today, we're going to be making a simple parpadelli pasta dish with a mascarpone cream sauce with rosemary, accompanied by Cornish game hen meat and also some fresh vegetables. It's going to be really good. Follow me. So first off, we're going to start off by cutting a few vegetables. Today we have some yellow squash and we have some zucchini that have been washed and, and dried. You always want to wash and dry your vegetables because you never know where they've been. A lot of people at the supermarket, you know, pick them up and touch them. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cut most of the meat off the outside of these and throw away the seeds. Now it's a very rustic dish, so all you have to do is just cut up the vegetables like so. Large dice is fine for this, especially because the zucchini and the yellow squash will soften as they cook. We used to do this dish a lot growing up, just, you know, you go through the fridge and you have a couple vegetables, you have some meat and some extra pasta left over. It's a great way to clean out the fridge and also create a great meal. So now that we've cut up our vegetables, we're going to put them to the side and pick a few of our, of our herbs. We have a nice, some nice rosemary here which we're just going to take the leaves off like so. Same thing, like I said, it's a rustic dish. You just have to, you know, chop them coarsely. Now, I've already gone ahead and picked our Cornish game meat, which is right here, which we had for dinner last night, which was amazing. Now, over here on the stove, I already have a pot of water boiling, which which uh, we're just going to heat our pasta through so it doesn't cool down our sauce too much. Just a little pasta like that, enough for, enough for two or three people. Give that a little bit of a toss. Now I already have a hot pan over here, which I'm going to add a little bit of our pasta water to. So we have some nice starch to help thicken up our sauce. And then we're going to add in a little bit of cream. Get that, keep that nice and hot. Now at this point, we can add in our herbs and our vegetables. Like so. Now all we want to do is let the vegetables cook out for a little while. As that's cooking out, we can slice up a little more of our chicken that hasn't been picked. Right here we have uh, the breast that I separated from the leg meat which was already picked. Nice little bite-sized pieces would be great for this dish. You don't want to have them too small or too large. bite size would be great. Now we're going to add the chicken, breast meat, we're going to add the leg meat right to the pasta. Now we're just going to want to give that a little bit of a stir, get it all, all incorporated. And while that's cooking, we're going to open up our mascarpone cheese. Now mascarpone cheese is an Italian semi-soft cheese, which is great in desserts, things like tiramisu, or adding them in sauces for pastas, like this dish. Now we're going to add about three, three and a half ounces of this. It's going to make the dish really nice and creamy. Now with any dish, with any food, you always want to season it. And nothing better than salt and pepper to bring out those great flavors in the food. Like so. Now what we want to do is just mix in the mascarpone cheese with the sauce. This will take just a few minutes. Now it looks like our pasta back there is just about warmed through since it's already cooked. So what we're going to do is drain our pasta. 
we don't need all that extra water. Just let it drain for a minute. Don't want too much of it. And we're going to bring that back over to the stove and add that to our pasta. Like so. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to gently toss all the parmigiana with the sauce and the chicken and the vegetables. Oh, I can smell the rosemary. It smells great. It's so good for you. And it adds a lot of flavor to pasta dishes like these. This is a great meal to have when friends come over unexpectedly and everyone's starving and they want to have a good hearty meal quick. So now that's looking just about done. So we're gonna take we're gonna take a bowl for this dish to plate it up. And we're just gonna add a good third of that right into our bowl. Just like that. Press right back on the stove. Remember to turn off your heat. And voila, there you go. Parpadelli pasta with a mascarpone rosemary cream sauce with great summer vegetables. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Demo.